This is the second installment in a two-part series that discusses sentence elements in English. To refresh your memory, in the last installment, we talked about subjects, verbs, direct objects, indirect objects, and prepositions. And now we're going to move on to some more complicated elements. Sometimes in sentences, we have nouns that describe other nouns. These usually indicate possession. Things like the girls of ESLA or the boys of summer. In this case, they signal possession. The girls belong to ESLA. The boys belong to summer. This is usually signified by an of connecting the two words or an S or an apostrophe S. Miss Thompson's iPad. In that case, the iPad belongs to Miss Thompson and is signified by apostrophe S. In Latin, nouns that describe other nouns take the genitive case, something we don't have in English. So we have the of and the apostrophe S to fill that hole. There are also adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe a noun. They can describe a subject, a direct object, an indirect object, or even a noun that describes another noun. They tell specific attributes of that noun. Is it big? Is it small? Is it funny? Is it silly? Things like that. In Latin, adjectives must agree with the noun they modify in gender, person, and number. This isn't something we worry about in English, but in Latin it's important. For example, if you have a noun that is feminine singular, that means you need to have an adjective that's feminine and singular. There are also adverbs. These are words that describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb, much like adjectives describe nouns. They specify a certain aspect of the word they modify. Is the running quickly or is it slowly? Is the girl happy or is she very happy? You need the adverb to tell you the degree to which something happens. In English, adverbs often end in ly. In Latin, adverbs end in a or iter. This is an important distinction and we will learn about the two different kinds of adverb endings as we go along. Imperatives, which are our next element, aren't really elements, but in fact a certain kind of sentence, but I want to introduce them here. These are verbs that stand alone and are commands. The subject you is implied. For example, if your sentence is dance, you can also do that by pointing your finger and saying you, you over there, you dance. But you don't need to do that because when you say dance, the subject is implied. The next sentence element are infinitives. This is the to form of the verb. You can know that the infinitive is the to form of the verb because the to form of the verb contains infinite possibilities of what the verb can become. From the infinitive, you can get the I form, the you form, the he, she, or it form, all of the forms that you need to say different things with different subjects. Some verbs need an infinitive to complete the thought. Verbs like to be able. Well, if you say she is able, you don't know what she is able to do. So, for example, you could say she is able to jump, and then you would know what she was able to do. Ought and should are other verbs that often take complementary infinitives. Finally, we're going to talk about the little words that English and Latin have. First, there are articles, such as the, a, and an. Articles point out either a specific or a general person, place, or thing. Latin does not have articles, so when you're translating from Latin to English, feel free to insert articles where they're appropriate. Next, there are pronouns. Pronouns call out a specific person, place, or thing. There are pronouns for the subject, such as I, we, he, she, it, they, and you. There are also pronouns that are demonstrative. They show a certain thing, such as that, these, those, and this. Finally, there are other pronouns like what, which, that, and who, and whom 
that additionally show out a specific person, place, or thing. Latin has specific small words for most of these, except for the subject pronouns, which are included in the ending of the verb. Finally, there are conjunctions. Conjunctions connect two words or phrases. Words like and, but, or, and yet are conjunctions, and Latin does have small words for each of these words.